All right, we are on to our next motor. Uh, this is the twin brother of that motor back there. Um, just like the motor in the last video, the yellow motor was the twin of that one back there in the corner. Um, first thing you'll see, I've already taken this cover off here um, so I can inspect in here and this one unlike that one has a one-piece crank meaning it hasn't shattered into pieces um, so that one I was actually going to start working on and try to get running before I worked on this one at all but I got that far and the uh, crank part of the crank the rod sorry was laying in the bottom of the oil pan hmm might be leaving this one a little bit longer. I pulled the head off and spun it over and it looked like the valves were working all fine. And while it, I was spinning it over, I noticed that. Um, so I pulled this cover off here and yeah, I might be leaving this one just for a little bit longer, seeing as the rod is laying down there in the bottom of the oil pan in three or four pieces by the looks of it. On the bright side though, the bearings are nice. This one seems fine, the bearings still seem okay, everything seems alright there. Um, it still has no compression as well. And so I am hoping that it's just valve train, I can pull the head off, turn the valves a little bit, um, reseat them somewhat um, get any carbon that's in there out and uh, make this thing run so I'm going to use the parts off that one to put onto this one and hopefully get it running all right exactly what I thought apart from the fact that this thing still has foam air cleaner that hasn't disintegrated that's amazing usually they just um, get old and they start to fall apart and then you touch them with your thumb and your thumb just crumbles straight through them but anyway the um, bore looks really nice in this um, no bad scratching at all I don't think I feel something little back there take a look at it but uh, even that's not that bad um, so yeah nothing too bad in this but yeah turn it over you'll see that intake valve is opening and the exhaust valve is opening permanently so if I just tap that down against the cam to go down Spin it back over a bit, lifts it back up, tap it back down, lift it back up, keep it lubricated, I might as well give the rest some lubrication, it is pretty dirty in here, um, there's dust and dirt and just all sorts in there, and keep repeating that until it starts to um, starts to return back by its own spring pressure. All right, you will see that valve is now freed up. I've been tacking away at it for ages now. It's all freed up, it's all lubed up, um, so it should be all right um, to go now. I can put the head back on, start reassembling this to how it was, put some points on here from that one, and uh, see if I can get some spark out of this thing.
So I finally got spark. Thank God. Took a lot of messing around with the points. This, um, oh, I can't even remember the name. Um, coil and the condenser, all of the bits pretty much. Cleaning up spark plugs, setting the um, clearance on this, setting the clearance on my points, the points gap, cleaning up all my contacts and the little push rod there. Um, but yeah, it has spark now. I'll put the front cover back on and um, chuck on the carby, but I might as well, while it's out, take it apart and give it a quick clean out. It should be the same as if you watched the last video. Um, the carburetor on that, pretty similar. But I'll clean it out anyway and chuck it on, and give it a bit of fuel and um, see if it lights off. So it fired off. Um, now I need to get it to run and idle now for a little bit of a longer period of time. So I'm going to chuck the fuel tank on here, chuck fuel line round to there. Um, I've got the metal line, so I'll throw that on. Um, might as well put the air filter on. Um, yeah, see see how it goes then. Alright, I've got this thing out here, um, fuel line's all plumbed up, all the fuel system is working fine now, and it's time to put a muffler on this thing. Alright, this one off the other one, um, it's like a little, it was like a little rust, rust maraca, but um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty clear now, just a little bit left in it, and I've taken the time, uh, the time to, uh, get out all of those threads that were in there um, stuck in from when the old one broke off in there so they're all out now so this just should just thread in there and this thing should be muffled all, all well and good so the muffler's on there now um, and it's time to see if this thing will start up and run all right then I can put the air cleaner on it and um, get it tuned nicely to get it running consistently and pretty well I'm pretty much done on this thing there's only uh, one thing really left to do and that is to give it a decent wash so I'll give it a quick wash and then it's going to be going, going up for sale as well
All right, that motor is done. And just like that one, it'll be up for sale soon on the face base. Um, runs pretty well. It doesn't really have any major, major issues. All the uh, sheet metal is relatively good. Um, the exhaust isn't rotted out, neither is the fuel tank. It's a pretty good basis to start a restoration from. It starts up pretty easy. Doesn't use um, any oil as far as I'm aware. So yeah, it would make a good restoration project for someone. But um, anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.